Hello everyone and welcome back to another a Mazi chess game from the history of chess from 1903. And in this chess game we have two legends. With the white pieces we have Jeza Maroksi, who was one of the leading chess players from Hungary and his opponent was Mikhail Chigori, who needs no introduction. He was also one of the leading chess players in his era, especially in the late 19th century. So this is Emasi. Maroksi starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5 and we have the king's gambit accepted. Knight to f3, g5, bishop to c4, g4. Maybe defending the knight comes to mind. But in this position actually if moving the knight maybe checking the king with the queen is also a possibility. In this position Maroksi is sacrificing the knight. G takes on f3, capturing the pawn with the queen. And is this playing with fire against Mikhail Chigorin? d6, d4, bishop to e6, knight to d5, c6, and Maroksi castled. Believe it or not, he is sacrificing another knight. So he is sacrificing both of his knights, double knight sacrifice in the beginning of the game. Is this extremely aggressive against Mikhail Chigorin? C takes on d5, Chigorin didn't believe in this attack. E takes on d5 and this looks crazy. Now the bishop is under attack, after defending the bishop we can see that the e file is open so white can use this open file when he is attacking the king, first capturing the pawn, bishop back and then checking the king and how to defend. Blocking like this, but now checking the king, rook from a to e1. And blocking with the bishop, actually there are not so many defense. Uh, not so many defenses in this position. And Maroksi captured the d pawn. Bishop takes on d6. So in this position, uh, white has a very obvious threat, capturing the bishop. And after capturing back with the knight, pushing the d-pawn and the piece is going to be pinned on e7. So in a panic mode, Mikhail Chigorin played king to f8. But in this position, actually queen to b6 was the better move. So after capturing the bishop, this is also attacking the bishop. After capturing the bishop, knight takes uh, on e7 and pushing the pawn is probably not working. So this move looks solid for black. So don't forget that white is playing extremely aggressively and he has to be careful not every move is winning and if black can find the accurate defense he is going to survive. But unfortunately Chigorin didn't find the accurate defense. He played king to f8 and rook takes on e7. What a shot. Knight takes on e7, rook to e1 and the knight is pinned again king to g7 and simply capturing the knight. And actually for the rook, white has three extra pawns plus the attack. Attacking the queen, defending. And in this position, Chigorin is both attacking the bishop and also attacking the rook. So defending everything. Queen to e2, attacking the knight, defending the knight. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? So try to guess the next move of Maroksi. Well, actually there is only one good move and after that move black is losing. And Maroksi impressively didn't miss that move. What would you do in this position? So let me give you three seconds. If you need you can also pause the video. Okay, so Maroksi played bishop to f6, check, what a move, what a shot. And Chigorin desperately retreated his king to g8. But in this position, if capturing the bishop, then black is getting checkmated. But now, after not capturing the bishop, everything is falling apart. Queen to e5, attacking the rook, how to defend. So attacking the rook twice, so there is... No uh, black can't capture back and also threatening checkmate. So h6 simply capturing the rook and threatening checkmate. Queen to g7 checkmate. 
F6 and Robert. Queen to E7 what an incredible move. In this position of course F6 was probably a deflection tactic because if capturing the pawn then queen takes rook is a possibility and probably that's also losing because you can go back with the bishop and threatening checkmate again. But we have queen to e7 by Moroxi and Mikhail Chugorin is in the ropes. He's in big trouble so king takes bishop and then capturing the pawn check king to g8 and rook to e7 and Mikhail Chugorin resigned. What an incredible devastating defeat for Mikhail Chigorin, two times challenger for the World Chess Championship title and he is basically getting checkmated, there is no sensible defense. The possible continuation, of course you can check the king with the queen and then capturing back and still rook can go back and threatening checkmate again. So that's that move doesn't make any sense, so let's say capturing the bishop and queen to g7 checkmate incredible and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games from the chess history so take care and bye bye